Hi everyone, I guess you are watching this video to know how much is the standard pay for your specific position or how much is your colleague making in a month. Well, you've come to the right channel and uh, hopefully you, you enjoy. So we only gather top 5 for this video and the reason behind it is because it will really take us a while to discuss it further. Now the main reason why this video is created is to uh, make you realize uh, how much should you be making and provide you a career path especially if you are staying in the industry for 10 to 20 years or you know if you are starting up and you want to build your IT career so hopefully you enjoy watching this video and let's start it to start we got it from the rank number five and we got the data scientist what's a data scientist it's someone who makes value out of data a data scientist builds models using a combination of statistics mathematics machine learning and domain based knowledge he or she has to code and build these models using the same tools languages and frame framework that the organization supports now what are the required skills uh, you need to have essential statistics, Python programming, R programming, SQL, data intuition, business intelligence, and its tools. Which, who are the companies who, ha who is looking for data uh, scientists? Visa, Netflix, Google, etc. So usually, you know, popular uh, businesses. How much is a data scientist making in a year? They are making $133. $133,325 or 6.8 Philippine Peso in a year. And what are the requirements of being a data scientist? Uh, they should know the data engineering basic language requirement which is Python, solid knowledge of operating system, heavy in-depth database knowledge, SQL and NoSQL, data warehousing, Hadoop, MapReduce, Hive, Pig, Apache Spark, Kafka, basic machine learning, uh, familiarity so uh, how to become a data scientist so most of the data scientists have a master's degree or a doctor's degree and they also undertake online learnings like uh, Hadoop big data querying R programming Python coding Hadoop platform experience SQL database Apache Spark uh, machine learning and AI or artificial intelligence data visualization unstructured data and according to the uh, Payscale.com slash PH. A data scientist here in the Philippines for the first one to four years is making around 66,000 to 70,000 a month. And then for five to nine years, it will be 76,000 to 80,000. And of course, if you are more than nine years, you will be getting most probably around 100 or more than that. Now, on the fourth uh, ranking for the highest paid IT jobs, we got the data security engineer or the cyber security. Uh, so, by the way, just to let you know, the ranking is also based in, in the US. All right. And then uh, the pay scale was just uh, gathered here in the Philippines. So, the function of data security engineer is to develop information security plans, implement protections, vulnerabilities, investigate security breaches, monitor for security breaches. And what are the job requirements, antivirus software, background, intrusion detection, firewalls, content filtering, designing, secure network, system and application, experience planning, researching, developing security policy standards, procedures, professional experience in a system administration, roles, supporting multiple platforms and application, and background in uh, CIA, confidentiality, integrity, availability, and of course, uh, experience in the cybersecurity. So, according to the uh, U.S., the annual salary of a cybersecurity engineer is around one hundred forty-three thousand two hundred fifty dollars, or seven point three pesos annually. Now, how about the senior? All right, so they are earning one hundred fifty-one, or equivalent to almost eight million pesos here in the Philippines the lowest in abroad or in the US they are making 126,000 so this is just an average or 6.5 or if you will be converting it in the Philippine peso that will be around 538,000 
335 pesos per month. Now, how much is a data security engineer getting in the Philippines? So, according to payscale.com slash ph, this is based per annum, in the first one to four years of experience, the average salary of a security engineer is around 28 to 35,000 per month. And then five or more years, it will be 53,000 to 60,000 per month. Wow, that's big. And of course, you know, if you get, if you get more than nine years, of course, more than that, you'll be getting. Now, how to become a data security engineer? So, some require, especially companies, uh, background in programming language, C++, Java, Node, Python. But uh, usually, it requires experience in cybersecurity, hacking, and uh, they also require someone who has a background on incident detection, response, and forensic. And of course, certification, which is CCNP, Ethical Hacker, CISA, Certified Information Systems Auditor, Web Application Penetration Tester, Certified Information Systems Security Professional, uh, GSEC, CCIH, GCIA, and Security Certification. Okay, and then for the third one, what we have is the Cloud Architect. For the Cloud Architect, uh, the day-to-day -day job includes regularly evaluate cloud application, hardware, and software develop and organize cloud systems. Work closely with IT security to monitor the company's cloud privacy. Respond to technical issues in a professional and timely manner. Offer guidance in infrastructure movement techniques, including bulk application transfers into the cloud, cloud migration, and of course setting up the whole cloud system which is a uh, cloud storage computing systems from scratch making sure the systems abide by various compliance and security policies managing systems and making updates as necessary now what are the job requirements to be a cloud architect so job requirements requires experience on converting the technical requirements of a project into the architecture and design will guide the final product in the cloud system Cloud architects are also responsible for bridging gaps between complex businesses, problems, and solutions in the cloud. They are also responsible on coordinating with the DevOps engineer. Uh, they also ensure that the right technology or technologies are being built. Experience involves storing and managing data across a number of remotely located servers rather than a local server. So usually it's uh, migrating, transferring data. Experience setting up front and back at back end platforms and developing an operational cloud-based delivery system and uh, in the US they are making around $154,428 equivalent to almost 8 million pesos here in the Philippines and uh, dividing it to 12 you'll be earning 659,793 and 63 cents per month however in the Philippines uh, you'll be getting, according to the survey made by the payscale.com slash ph, it's around 80k per month on the first 1 to 4 years experience, and then 83k to 95k per month, 5 to 9 years of experience. So, take a look at this one. If you have 10 to 19 experience, you are earning 2 million in a year. Wow, that's big. And, uh, of course, the cloud architecture is big. Uh, industry and uh, Amazon is the leading cloud provider and if you'll be getting a uh, certification or if you want to be a cloud architect you need to get that kind of certification uh, some prefer strong background scripting pro programming languages and then uh, inter interested individuals can seek membership in an industry like CCA and the knowledge includes cloud providers like uh, AWS, MySQL, Java, open source technologies like Redis and Docker and OpenStack. And then the second one, uh, which is the enterprise architect, is someone who is responsible for making sure that the company's strategy uses proper technology systems architecture to achieve its goals. They need to keep up with the latest trends in technology and determine whether or not they would be right fit for a company. The enterprise architect is the senior level of technical architect. The primary role of the enterprise is to ensure that the respective business application, data, and technology perspectives are in line with the organization's technology, governance, strategy, policies, and standards. 
So what are the job description or the day-to-day -day job of an enterprise architect? Evaluating internal functions, creating business architecture, evaluating systems engineering, organizing training, conduct research, providing business architecture, ensuring efficiency, creating methods for compliance architecture, determining and implementing build versus buy strategies, mentor personal and views of the overall business strategy. So most commonly these are seniors. All right. And uh, what are the job requirements? Uh, of course, since it, it is uh, the second highest paid IT job, there's a lot of requirements. It should have an excellent technical skills, uh, certified in Zachman, TOGAF, Microsoft Office programs, Visual PowerPoint, Intersystems Communication, or ISO, Enterprise Architect, Analytical Skills, and in order to examine business systems, determine trends, develop ways, streamline processes. Strong interpersonal skills are needed to collaborate with colleagues or interact with stakeholders. They have also a background in project management and uh, effectively serve as an organization, organization's information technology leader and oversee personnel. How much they are making? They are making around 7.8 million in a year or $151,357 in US or abroad. And how to be an enterprise architect? Um, they didn't. Uh, it requires a lot of certification, like the TOGAF or the uh, architecture framework. They also need the Federal Enterprise Architecture Certification and uh, countless uh, studies, like uh, Cloud Solution, Salesforce, Cisco, and including the uh, black and green belt of the Federal Enterprise Architecture certification so according to the records there are only 57,000 folks who are TOGA certified in the Philippines uh, they are making 132,000 in a month for the first one four years and for the seniors they are making 260 to 300,000 per month based on indeed.com that slash ph and then the last one and the less is the artificial intelligence or machine learning engineering so this artificial intelligence requires advanced degree in computer science, math, statistics, or related discipline, extensive data modeling, Python, R Java, background machine learning, Hadoop, agile environment, math skills, strong written and verbal communication. And then job requirements is exceptional mathematical skills, understand, use computer science fundamentals, data structures, algorithms, computability, and complexity and computer architecture, collaborate with data engineers to build data and model pipelines, and to end understanding of applications. So uh, you need to have a uh, strong background in programming, algorithms on statistical modeling, and data modeling and evaluation strategy. How much they are earning? So these are the lists of um, sub part of the machine learning or the artificial uh, intelligence. It's a big data engineer, data architect, data modeler, software engineers. All right. Now, going to the Philippines, they are making around six hundred fifty thousand per month, and uh, that is according to Payscale.com/ph. Now, how to be a machine learning engineer? So you need to have Python programming nuggets. Uh, according to the KD Nugget survey, computer science fundamentals, programming, probability statistics, and uh, you need to apply the machine learning libraries, TensorFlow, Spark, H2O, data modeling evaluation, software engineering, and system design. So as you can see, uh, they need to have a strong background on this uh, kind of software, especially the APIs because it's really, really creation and mostly programming advanced programming and uh, that's it uh, hopefully you enjoy watching this video and uh, it provides your career path of what you want to pursue in the IT industry it gives you the you know the message and the idea how much is the salary of a specific IT role in your company Hope it helps and if you like the video, please hit subscribe and like the video. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye.